She's done it in bracket a couple times, so I don't I don't know if she's done it in like bigger tournaments. Helper already with a quick 61% here, Jeez. and I mean That's This could I this could be slow, but it could also be fast around battlefield, which means extension for both characters. Extra places to land for Dill, which is gonna be really helpful. Blazaga from the ledge already. I mean Helper has yet to be hit. 106 with this anti-air. This is way more aggressive than I'm used to seeing Helper like start out these sets with, but and the counter too. Helper playing hot today. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, it's so interesting because Helper, he played a, he was playing super slow against um, Infernape earlier, but now I mean, now that he's in a matchup where like he he doesn't have to like super camp, he's like he's showing that he can move too. Yeah. But I wonder if Dill's gonna maybe start to try to call out these counters. Something to note about like Dill style of Rob is that she likes to lean a lot more into the zoning tools and to like the. Excellent use of gyro. Yeah, her gyro usage is fantastic, but like when it comes to boxing, like compared to some of the other top robs, like she's not all like she might not be able to contend with the likes of like Zomba in that regard, right? So like they're very different. Yeah. Uppy at a shield there for helper frame nine or ten at a shield, I think. Really good. And it will kill off the top. Even with that big battlefield ceiling, Dill's still dying. And Helper has the gyro? I think he threw it. That counter was okay. Slick. This is like uncharacteristically like not precise gameplay from Dill, I feel like. She's kinda getting hit by a lot of things I'm not used to seeing her get hit by. And maybe part of that is just, you know, Helper's tempo change. That up air not yeah. quite gonna kill yet with good DI. Helper just doing a great job too of just stringing all of these hits, though it might be simple to land on Rob. You still gotta land them, you know? Yeah, oh, counters the gyro, Beautiful. and counters the laser too. What is and happening? Her box shifts with the Thundaga under the gyro. All Helper. That, all that to get dunked. I mean, Helper reeled a bit there in his chair. I think that the. He didn't. I think he just ran out of invincibility because he was yeah. at such high percent. Yeah, yeah, but, totally. yeah, as much as Helper has been, you know, doing really good, this is Rob at these percents yes. where you can get like a Nair to Saibi, something like that. But Helper has converted off of every hit really well. But look at the percent buildup for Dill. Counter there. Tandaga off stage, not quite, but the up B, not quite gonna kill. Rob is big. Let's see. Helper sharking. I think that Dill can definitely use the fact that like when Helper's like doing the sharking, if Sora like does a double jump, he makes himself very he's very much committing to that motion. Right. So. I think like Dill can definitely just sort of take your time, like now that Helper's shown that he's gonna go do that and just sort of wait. Thundaga off stage again. The gyro. Sora doesn't die there though. And Helper looks for the killing back throw. Wow, side B2, no three though. A bear drag down, nothing to kill. A gyro here and Dill is I mean, this is arguably like this is basic. Okay, really good up air. I was gonna say this is kind of even. It still is kind of even. Now it's death. Oh. oh, great mash from Helper, wow. Oh no. <gasps> what is happening? Helper, <laughs> he's cooking. That back was killed though. Sora is so light and floaty, but it, it actually makes some of these things harder for Rob, believe it or not. Wow, and no such Helper's knowledge of Sora just you know coming out of full force here. I'm a big I'm a big uh Sora knowledge head myself too, so I Nice. I get very excited when I watch. Helper doing a great job of just countering a ton of these projectiles to either make it back to stage or just not let Dill implement her game plan. Yeah, I like Dill going to the other side though. And Helper, look at like how much, like whenever Dill's above him, he's leaning into this up air, not quite converting into the F smash there. That might've taken the stock if it was the tipper. Oh! What a mix up. I that got was mixed. a crazy, yeah, I got mixed. I got hit there. Oh, where's the tech? And no tech. Oh no. Dill throwing her hand up, maybe a little bit frustrated there. And I feel like Dill and Helper have a decent track record as far as how many sets they played against one another. They've been playing a lot recently too in the past couple months. I yeah. I feel like Helper has been performing really well. As he has, as well. yeah. I mean. To make it, you know, to play Dill at eventually, like, you, you have yeah. to face Dill pretty far in bracket. It's the hell PR push, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you can definitely see where, like, the struggle can come for Rob here, right? right. Like, it's obviously yeah. not, like, super bad, but, like, Sora's advantages, like, really shine in this matchup. 100%. But I think the other thing that's really cool for Sora here is that, like, he... Sora actually gets to make use of, like, his double jump against Rob. 
Uh, Where against sorry, a, Devin. Against a lot of characters, he doesn't really get to. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. But we're on town. I mean, a lot of Rob players would consider this his best stage. Um, you get earlier kills off the side. You get to live longer off the top. Yep. Um, stage is big, so you get to zone. But Sora definitely benefits from similar things. Although, yeah. I would say Sora maybe in this matchup more likely to kill off the top with like narrow up smash and up air right. in particular. I think yeah. Helper's use of counter is really good because like Sora counter like doesn't have the end lag, right? That a lot right. of other counters do. Up air. Sora's so light though that it doesn't convert. Wow. Just hanging on for dear life and the thunder through the stage, so much damage. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was just uh, you're just watching. I was just completely zoned into the match right no, there. No, that makes but, sense. Um, I was going to say one thing that you can never count out with a Dill match is Dill's comeback mechanic. Oh, for comeback sure. factor is just always very clutch. Dill like, has a comeback mechanic in real life. For for sure. I mean, I see it almost virtually every match. She lose. She would lose game one and then just steamroll two and three. It happened against Pret, yeah, mm -hmm. earlier. And I love the stall here. The gyro, but the Faraga actually clanked with the gyro there, giving Helper a free ledge trap and oh no, a missed directional air dodge from Dill. She's showing a bit of frustration. Hopefully, she can keep it together. Yeah, one thing that's very unique about this matchup is that both of these characters off the stage, it's just complete chaos. What's going to happen? No, for who's, sure. Who's going to be able to recover? I mean, look at the way Helper is just living off stage. Yeah, She's almost yeah. looking like John. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say we fit similarly has something. Of, to that effect. In, I saw John look up from the corner when I said his name. <laughs> Let's see. Drops the gyro. I mean, I think Dill... She's definitely doing better, but, like, I don't... I think she's not really playing around... It's hard, because, like, Sora kind of just gets to, like, throw out hitboxes and, like, they'll eventually hit type of thing. Right. There's Let's only see. so much you can avoid. That's kind of it, right? Nice up smash, though. The reverse scoop... And now Dill is the lead, and she throws the gyro up, actually, instead of opting to hold it, which is interesting. Oh, but she caught the gyro again. Never mind. She's a genius. Wow. Yeah. Some hidden tech that we don't know about. Air dodges to land, and now, I mean, this is the first lead Dill's had. Let's see what she can do with it. Helper has gyro in hand, so no zero to death yet. Throws the gyro again, but again, the gyro just leaves, not in the equation. Helper doing a good job of not letting... Uh, Dill set up some extra damage here, only taking 13% thus far. Yeah, Hopefully I mean, Helper could close out this stock. Yeah, Helper, oh, is. great back air. Going down so low, but as Sora, you definitely have that ability. Yeah, and I mean, Sora back air is one of those moves that, like, you kind of forget how good it is. Like, it's so active, it's yeah. so strong, and if you combine it with Sora's huge double jump, it's active for that whole duration, right? Yeah. And, like, not even Rob can get around it there when you're that low. Nice F tilt here from Dill, though. And now Tech chasing, maybe. No, Helper just acting at a shield. There. Oh, but the Z drop gyro, so good. And Mash's counter. Maybe Helper feeling the pressure a little bit here. I know he's been in this position against Dill many times before and lost. So let's see if he can, you know, pick up the slack here, close it out. That Thunder might have shield hook. I'm not sure. If I'm Helper, I'm doing everything in my power to not Ooh. go to a game three and thankfully avoids that up smash by Dill. That up smash would have been oh, brutal. Look at that back air, you see? Yeah. It just, it's such, such a, a good, such a good move. It's such a good sword move. Ooh, nice Ooh, tried to though. go for the back air there again, but got punished for it, unfortunately. Yeah. Back good throw. awareness from Helper. Dead? This could kill. Yeah, wow. with rage. It's like that Mario back throw, you know? Well, Helper taking it 2 0 over Dill. Very, very I mean, close game, too. Good stuff from Helper. Yeah. Really uh, showing clean gameplay, you know? Like, Yes. The the combos were out in space yeah. for, for Helper, really landing those conversions. Well, cause, and then some great edge guarding as well. Yeah, his understanding of the Rob matchup is definitely very good. Like, he was playing, because obviously, like, as much as Sora has advantages against Rob, right? Like, look at that, like that edge guard. And even like the way on stage, he was playing with the gyro really well, holding it in key moments. He was avoiding laser really well, his use of counter, right? Like, and he was getting a lot of reversals where, like, Dill would swing in places that she couldn't. Right. Like, 
Nair to shield, up till all that jazz. I wonder how the rest of that game would have went if that SD on the first stock didn't occur. Uh, but that's hey, real, yeah. You know, I mean, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? Well, something I like to say is that if your character's out on the windscreen, you could have played better. And, <laughs> True. <laughs> you know, no disrespect to Dill, but no. USD, it's your fault. Yeah.